Already cancelled. Already cancelled. Already cancelled. Yes. What? As a man, a 31 year old man. Yeah. How, do you sit on the toilet to wee? Sober? <laughs> Just sober, Yaz? Mm. What time of day is it? What? No, any, like it's any, s- any time of the day. If it's 3 a.m. in the morning and I'm half asleep, I'm going to sit down. So what what, 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 okay. per- what percentage of time do you sit down on the toilet? Uh, 98%. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Other way, 98% <laughs> I'm standing up. Today. 98% standing? Yeah, yeah, it's just easier. More simple. Nisha, obviously you don't stand to wee, so you would, it's not a normal thing. Oh, well, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> no, like obviously I don't stand where you guys would stand, but like if it's a public toilet. Oh, but you do the whole. <laughs> I, I do the squat. You do the, you do the whole. The squat. Stand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does that work? It 100% works and public toilets I will never sit on. Does it go everywhere? No. I just have so many questions. Are we going to get into the questions? We well, can get into what, whatever because I have a graph here that shows where in the world do men sit down to wee and you won't believe everywhere the highest percentage. What country gives you the highest percentage of men that sit down to wee? Japan. No. Oh, they have a really comfortable toilet. Australia. No. Although Australia is pretty high. Oh, is really? it? Really? Oh, it's all the woke countries, isn't it? America. It's the bloody woke countries. No. Oh. Well, let me start off uh, reasonably low down the list. Let's go with at 19% of men yeah. in Denmark. It's already oh, quite Denmark. high. 19% is quite high. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's like lower. Do you know if they take into consideration disabilities and like all that stuff? Or is it just your able men? No, nah, it doesn't take any of that into consideration. Well, that's silly, isn't it? Yeah, that is a bit silly. Anyways, go on. Oh, well, thanks for breaking the whole chat. <laughs> well, shit, what do you want me to do? I'm, I'm, I'm just a genius. I need, to, I need all the proper information. Okay, US is at 10%. Italy's at 13%. Canada's at 16% of men. Yeah. Denmark's at 19%. Uh-huh. Australia. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Is at 25%. 25% of men. Sit. Wow. One quarter of all men in Australia sit down to wee on the toilet. Every time. Majority of the time. Is it problematic though? Every time. Every time. I just don't understand why. Yeah. Do you know how, like, we are blessed as men to be able to just whip it out and <laughs> let it go? Mm. I'm serious. So if 25% of men are not doing it, it's like, why are you making your life harder for yourself? Right. There's a whole, pro- like, you've got to take your whole pants down. Oh, yeah. Why? I bet you they're wiping it too. Don't you? Wait, you don't wipe? Don't you just give it a shake? No, bro, you gotta wipe. What the hell's wrong with you? Hold on for a second. <laughs> Hold on for a second. Oh, here we go. This you is... wipe your penis? Not only do I wipe, I, I do the toothpaste. Um... You brush your <laughs> No, <laughs> wait. No, no, no. Finish no. the sentence. So I, um, how can I explain it? It's a Colgate ad right there. <laughs> think, think, of, think of it as a, um, when I'm done, do you know what? Wait, okay, we did the toothpaste. Just, just go back yeah, to the yeah, toothpaste. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to figure out a way to explain it without being too graphic because I don't want it to be too graphic. No, oh, just fuck it. I'll be graphic. You squeeze it out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But that's not wipe. No, but what do you mean? It just. Uh, you get. You, wait, so you get toilet paper. I dab it. And you dab your penis. 100%. You have to. That's no, disgusting. No, you shake it off. You, you know, know what, you, how, Okay, so do you use a trough ever? You've never used a trough? The fuck What's is a trough? trough? Now look at us like we're like, like we're pigs eat out of. What's a trough? Oh, he means. Okay, he means when you go to a public a toilet, like a men's public toilet, where it's like an open right, an open. Well, you go piss on the metal thing that it runs down. That's a trough. He calls it a trough. It's a piss fountain. <laughs> a piss fountain. Is that you what both live very different lives. Clearly, is that what it's called? I am so I'm so fucking shocked. I don't know if this is the real Yaz. Wait, what's a trough? I a trough know. is what you piss into. Wait, wait, hold on. What is a trough? Like, is 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 is, is it the no, wall, wall that you piss it? on? It's a wall that you piss yeah, on. Yeah, but I don't call it drainage. a trough. I don't call it a trough. I call it something else, but I don't know what I call but it. But then what do you call those urinal stands? Oh, urinals. Yeah, sorry. That's the word I was trying to think of. Those urinal stands where you go into the, like, the men's bathroom and you know that there's like those white- there's Yeah, they're urinals. The, are they urinal stands or they're there's, troughs? There's three things you can piss in as a man okay. in a public toilet. Right. There's a toilet. Mm-hmm. Yes. There's the- Urinal. urinal yeah. The curved thing that hangs off the wall. Urinal. And then you have the entire wall. That's metal. No usually. way they have that. They have that? Oh, you've never seen the piss wall? What? I've oh. never seen a piss wall. What? We need to take Nishi to see a piss no, wall. No, I don't want to go in an excursion. I'm just saying, like, that's crazy. So, up. There's so many rules about the piss wall. You so, guys don't know about the piss I've wall? Never heard no, of, of piss course wall. I know about the piss wall. <laughs> that's the trough. Well, I never called it a trough. Hold on. Okay, hold on. So do you ever use the trough? He's out there brushing his fucking- This guy's got a toothbrush and toothpaste out. I will always, if there is a cubicle free, like an actual toilet, I'll piss in that before I use anything else. Why? Because it's more hygienic. 
It's when I dab my penis. I don't want, listen to what happens to you. You're sitting here all high and mighty, right? <laughs> you, <laughs> let me explain. No, 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 no. This is what happens to Keenan of Nisha, just so you understand. So this guy pisses, all right? Yeah. There's always leftover piss inside your penis, right? Yuck. Hence where the toothpaste tube comes in from. You squeeze it out, right? And then when you squeeze it out, you just dab your penis so there's no leftovers, right? Yeah. Do you know what Keen, what happens to Keen? Keen then tucks his penis into his <laughs> underwear and you know what happens? His penis then starts to leak. Okay. So he's got are little you, piss you, marks. Happy to- he's got little piss marks on his underwear as he's sitting here right now because he just went to the toilet an hour ago. He's got piss marks on his undies because he didn't wipe. Is this okay. true, Kian? Settle down for a second, Yaz, <laughs> and you, Nishi, because that's completely wrong. No, it's not. That all is the human anatomy. All you've, all you've done is assume. No. Okay. No. P- just because you don't do it, it doesn't mean that what I do is not effective. It's not. And I can guarantee you 75% me- of men are in the same boat as I me. I can't 75 wait. 75%? I cannot wait for this comment section. Oh, it's going to be great. <laughs> Oh. So you sound is- like a pussy when you dab your penis. That's what a that's what a, a little bitch does. I think that's a, a little pussy bitch dabs their penis. It no. sounds normal it's though. It's what to a like- hygienic person. Why does. the fuck would they invent troughs then or urinals with no toilet paper there? Oh, here's a point. That's three quarters of the three places you can piss. Are you trying to even talk about the hygiene of public toilets in general? They're disgusting. Oh, fuck. they're made to be disgusting. Pissing okay, war. let me explain. Let me explain. What does All it right, look let like? Let me explain. You shake your penis, and as you're shaking your penis, you are doing the tube. The, the, How many the times tube, you shake tube, your penis? At least five times. That's masturbation. <gasps> <At> le- <laughs> Once you pass three. <laughs> Once I know you- that there's a masturbation rule as if well. If you shake it. However, yeah, yeah, yeah. however, I understand the droplets, the excess droplets. Mm. So I know you've got to go <laughs> at least five. You can't just do three. Yeah. I'd rather be known as, no, actually, I wouldn't rather be known as that. <laughs> <laughs> however, it's a five shake. And a squeeze right right up to the end. And it's all out. You Nisha. squeeze it and you shake it. It's all I'm off. Still- I can gu- I guarantee every time. You can take my undies to a scientific <laughs> experiment place and check for urine. There will be we can none. Do it. We can do it right now. None. I am still we can confused do it right now. about the pee wall. Like this is what it looks like. Just, just, just confirming because I've never seen a pee yes, wall Yes, that's a trough. Show that's me a the pee trough. Wall. Right, that's what it is. Now there's that's rules about the trough as well. And I'm not sure if Yaz knows these rules, but I'm going to see maybe we align on this because we've got to find something aligned I on. feel like I know what this question there's is. There's a specific grill. Yeah, the grill. The, there's a grill. I hate the fucking grill. I never stand on the grill. I don't know if you're meant to or not. You're meant What's to the stand. Grill? Okay, so when you step in, ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yuck! It's so fucking filthy. So think about think about an actual <laughs> grill, right, or a, like a barbecue grill. Yes. So that is. How do you think, of that, it? think of a drain at a road, right? Yeah, uh-huh. yeah that's good. A drain of the road, and the water runs through the drain. Yeah. All right. It's a similar thing that hovers above the base of the of the wall. So the wall's like an L. Yeah? Yep. You've got the, wall, the long side and you've got the L. Now on the L, it extends out to maybe half a meter. And then on top of the, on, on half a meter over, yeah. there's a particular grill or a, no. a drain that you stand on, you're meant to stand oh, on. Yeah. And That's piss- a photo. That is a pee wall. Yeah. And then you're meant to, then you're meant to pee against the wall, Nishi. All right? But the, th- the problem with that is that pee falls onto that grill as well. Yuck. So you never, ever, no matter what, Ever stand on the grill? I will but never stand what, on the grill. Okay, I have a question here because I'm looking at the pee wall, and it, it, Ken's right. It looks like a trough, right? Like literally, there's. It seems like anyone could go there and just say you're peeing, right? Because it's different with the urinal. Or, or the images I've seen of a urinal. It's isolated. They're isolated and yeah. they're separate, like maybe ten cent or twenty centimeters apart or whatever, right? Here, <laughs> a, lot, a lot more oh, than that. Sorry. Okay, but just it, rubbing shoulder. <laughs> no, but okay, fine. In this instance, there's no like, like can people just stand right next to yeah. you? Yeah, but you there's, there's a there's a there's, a there's a there's a unspoken rule as far about as a, far away as you possibly can yeah. be. If if the, but but if it's but if it's full, you either then revert to the toilet. That's what I do. Uh, I revert to the toilet. Has anyone ever stood very yeah. like weirdly close to you? Yes, and it's so hard and you, to and try and not look at their and, penis and with you, your <laughs> peripheral. Oh it's my God. Honestly, it's so hard because you're like. Look straight, look straight. I can see it, I can still see it. Shit. <laughs> it's the only time you ever access your peripheral vision. Yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah, so. 
<laughs> you got to try block it off. Yeah, yeah, just, uh, yeah uh. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's the the psychology behind the the trough wall. You just don't stand on the grill. Yeah, and then you do the uh, then you do the shakes, right? And, yeah, and whatever. If, if your your strategy is to dab it, I I, I won't judge you anymore. You I, can't judge me. Wait for I the love comments. you. Wait for the comment Go, section. Get, get, get the fucking comments out. I can prove that they'll guarantee that no man dabs their penis. Listen, I understand the situation. I get it. When you're at a public toilet, sometimes the resources aren't there. I understand. I've been in that situation. So what do you do then? Not, well, I have to do the shake. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I have to. But if I have a choice to not do the shake and dab my penis, I'm <laughs> dabbing my penis. When you hang a shit is the only time you should dab your penis. What, the, the, only what time is the difference? It's the only time. <laughs> because like you're sitting piece. down. You can't do the shake when you're sitting yes, down. Yes, you can. That's masturbation. <laughs> <laughs> Avnisha, just so you're aware of it, just so there is a universal rule: three shakes max. Anything more is playing with yourself. Well, I did. so Kian does five times. <laughs> I don't know. No, but it's not at least not it, like if it was six, then it's a double. Then it's like proper masturbation. But I go five, <laughs> just before you get right to right to the lid. You know. Nah, sorry, bro. I'm not with you on that one. But like well, I let's said, say- like I said. Public toilets, sometimes the resources aren't there. You got to do what you got to do. But my question to you, Kian, what do you do at home? At home, I stand in peace. No. No, no dab? No, no need to dab. You disgust me as a human being. <laughs> Why? It's, it's called the art of, of understanding your penis and the it's an art Whether of the you flick. like it or not, whether you like it or not, a little bit more starts coming out. It doesn't. It does. It doesn't. Because at home, I go up to maybe seven or eight flicks. I'm not even going to get into that. <laughs> I'm out of this conversation. Because I'm at home. Avnisha, can I just ask you a question in general? Would you rather a man that dabs or doesn't dab? Well, I don't, I, like. Uh, <laughs> just think, just, just As think. a woman, I'm just hoping it's like, there's no piss there. Like, I don't know, you guys and would know better. And what is the best if way? Piss, if there's piss there or not. What is the best way? Do you As think- a woman, obviously we have to use toilet paper, right? So, but that's for a woman. I'm not a man, so I don't know how to, is what, it, is, what it, is needed as a man. When, it, when a chick pees, is it very sprinkler? Is it like- uh, it can I think it be. depends on the force. Yeah. Like if yeah. you're forcing your, 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 your piss out, it's, it's coming out. Yeah. It doesn't come out in one line when Some you're fully going- Wait, you talking about a guy or a girl? But, but I'm assuming both. <laughs> well, we just have one stream, don't we? Yeah, you have one stream. I mean, you get the often time. <laughs> it splits? <laughs> it splits. You know why it splits, right? Go on. Do you know why? No, nah, why? No, 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 you <laughs> want me to answer it. You know why, right? No, you know why. I do know why. Okay, tell me why. You know why. Hey, tell me why. I don't think you know why. I don't know why, tell me. Avisha, do you know why? No, I don't care. <laughs> why do men's wee split? Go on. So usually after sex or after masturbation, there's a bit of- uh, <laughs> Uh, there's a bit of, what, what do you call it? I want the scientific term. What's the scientific term for it? Just help me out here, bro. Don't leave me by myself. <laughs> you wanted to go down this road. You're the one that brought up the split. No, I just say it's from time to time there's a split. Yeah, but why is it split? Two streams. Did there, you know there's that multiple? Issue? There's multiple reasonings why. Well, the one I know and I learned about was the fact that there's just Googling it. <laughs> I am Googling it. There's, you know a bit of, there's a bit of, um, uh, uh, sperm st- still in your pee hole. Semen. Semen stuck in your pee hole. And then when you pee, you piss. Well, someone says, this is, this is a scientific, I just Googled it and it comes up as phimosis or phimosis. I might be saying it wrong. Which is also known as having a tight foreskin. Phimosis can cause urine, urine, urine splitting. This condition is typically caused by poor hygiene. Certain skin conditions like Oh, yeah, I don't do that. Yeah, no, that, 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 my penis is never split. Never. STIs or injury to the penis. <laughs> so, um, oh no, that's no, going. That's, that's, that, going that's like a that's like a, a, a problem. Okay, no, it only happens to me after um, after when you have ejaculation. to clean, when you have to clean the jets. That's when it may or may yeah. not happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Anyway, let us know in the comments or like let us know just in general. So this all stemmed from 25% uh, what's of right? Is it dabbing or no dabbing? Well, there's still I don't a, know. There's still a country that's higher. At forty percent of men, shut up. That sit down every single time. Forty percent. Yeah. Where? Germany. Hmm. Okay. Why? 
Well, why not? If it's if, if people want to sit down. Why do pee? Germans? There's not enough time, Nisha. We <laughs> piss for twenty seconds. Why are you pulling your pants down, pulling your undies down? You're sitting down, you're getting comfortable. You're pissing. You're getting up. You're dabbing. Some of us. Yeah. And then putting your undies on, putting your pants on, flushing. So it's too much time. Well. Why do Germans sit down to pee? Let's see what comes up. Hmm. No internet access comes up. <laughs> okay, why do men sit down and pee? Can you actually don't dab? There's no need. I've been to. dabbing since a kid. There's well, no they just to. say when you when you. Yes. Can you finish his pissing, guys? <laughs> I thought that's what you're doing. <laughs> When you stand, the muscles in your pelvis and spine are activated, but they are completely relaxed when you sit, making urination far easier, says Colin. Of oh, no, course. says Colin. <laughs> of course. The Germans have a word for it. What is it? It's, let me try to say this in, as German as possible. Sitzfinkler. <laughs> Sitzfinkler. Sitzfinkler. That's a great word. I like the it. trend is a fairly recent... It's fairly recent, but has swept Germany thanks in part of the toilet ghost, a device that in instructs men to take a seat. In the oh. voice of recent German chancellors for added authority, the main reasons for the trend are hygiene and health and perhaps also smartphones. But how- Oh, so, so they can, can be on the <laughs> So oh I my guess- Oh God, I've done that actually now that I think about it. So toilet ghost, there's a thing called toilet ghosts in Germany now where you walk into the toilet and it tells you, it gives you steps on what to do. It's weird. Who? Why would you need steps? Oh, Germans, mate. I don't know. Spitzpinkler. Is that how you said? Um, Sitzpinkler. Sitz? Spinkler. I'm assuming it's a spinkler. Sitzpinkler. Sitzpinkler. That's a great word. I like that word. How about you just, how about like if you're listening or you're watching this, just tag your German mate and ask why. Why do you? Yeah, and then let us know. Jeez. There's, a, there's also a category on here that says don't know. So you have every time, most times, sometimes, rarely, and never, and then there's a category, category saying don't know. Like, how do you not know if you sit down or you stand up to this? <laughs> how do you not know? Yeah. There's, there's like in Germany, 6% of men don't know if they stand or sit when they piss. And and they're the highest in the world that don't know. So maybe <laughs> there's a reason for the fucking sphincterblock. Okay, so I've actually, I understand why now. So Germany is on this move to make public toilets um, cleaner and more hygienic. Yeah. And the way to do so is to- Have everyone sitting. To minimize piss on the seats. Yeah. Because let's be honest, that's probably, I don't know about women's toilets, but men's toilets, piss no, be. I reckon there's more piss on women's toilets than men's. Okay, women's I toilets can you. and like women, like will back me up on this. Women's public toilets, unless it's cleaned constantly, I have seen some really bad ones in my town because- Can't be worse than- a I don't know 100%. how women are getting piss. On the seats and on the ground. It's because you're squatting. because you're squatting on top. You're hovering over the- Yeah, but you can- And you can't, you, you don't, you, you, don't have, you can't floor. have the physical direct, you can't direct it. Yeah, but men get pissed on the, the seat all the time. As if no one's invented a piss But funnel. that's why a man should be pissing in a trough or a urinal, ur urinal, not in a toilet, because you're guaranteed 99% of the time. Has no one actually invented a, a, what would you call it? We'll call it a chick dick. Where you put it in your purse. Yeah, yeah, you they have. It's the, it's the, the, I think the, they the, have. the wee cup or something. The wee cup? It's something the like that. Cup. Yeah, yeah. And so you, it's, it's literally a cup that you put over your cookie and then you just stand wherever you can stand wherever and just piss into it and it funnels out like it looks like a man's stream. No, really? I actually yeah. think, I actually think they have created this though. Who's behind the marketing? You wouldn't call it the chick dick. I'd call it the chick dick. The Genius. Chick no, look. Yes, it's they have dicks. it. They, they, they have can, it. Can, Standing pee. It, yes. Standing urinals for women, female urination device. They have it. You can actually buy it. It's a pee portable, a standing pee portable urinal funnel that women why can buy. Why would chicks not just carry that in their purse? It's disgusting. Use it Imagine you rinse it under the water. Okay. Uh, Afterwards. I yeah, but urine's sterile too. So it's not like it's carrying anything fucked, is it? Is urine sterile? No, I yeah. don't think, I don't think Who that's true. Who the fuck told you urine is sterile? I do not think that's true in any- Okay, hold on, let me have a look. Urine <laughs> is normally sterile. When produced in the kidney and stored in the bladder, but it's likely to become non sterile as it leaves the body. <laughs> this guy is going to be as the time to drink it when he's like. <laughs> urine is non toxic, <laughs> although it contains urea and other substances that can be toxic if they are not excreted and reach high levels. That's inside the body. Uh, so urine's mm, not toxic. It is. Is urine clean? Uh, adult human urine is not sterile. Okay, so there you go. So <laughs> there's a different website. So it's the uh, National Institute of Gov. Make sure you double check your sources, everybody. <laughs> Cool. Well, anyways, uh, shout out to Germany. Uh, I think they're doing a great thing. 
especially for public toilets. Yeah, yeah I think it's good. I might try the dab to see what it's like. Probably a good thing. I can't not dab. I cannot not dab. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I knew if Nisha would fucking dab. <laughs> All right, bye. Already cancelled. If you like the podcast, prove it. Like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to leave us a cheeky review.